Welcome to Connector Products installation video. In this segment, we will cover how to install the CPI tap using a hot stick. This connector is designed for use on overhead transmission, distribution, substation, and secondary applications on bare aluminum to aluminum or aluminum to copper conductors. It is full current rated, meaning there are no current limitations. It can be used on voltages from as low as 208 through 230 kV. This is the Connector Products Wedge Connector. Out of the packaging, you will find two separate pieces for the installation. These consist of the C-body and the interface. The C-body consists of the body, shear head bolt that will give you the proper torque, and the drive wedge mechanism. The interface is the main connection between the conductors. Both are equipped with hot stick eyes for installation. When you open the package, the connector is ready to install as it comes factory installed with grit corrosion inhibitor grease for your application. Be sure to have the proper safety equipment and hot sticks needed for installation. Connector Products recommends two personnel to complete the job, but it can be done with one person and two hot sticks. Make sure you have all the tools for the job, one standard shotgun stick and one universal hot stick with a spring-loaded socket adapter is needed, as well as a temporary piggyback clamp seen here. Check the part number and packaging to verify the correct part is available for the job. Always prepare the conductor to your company standards. CPI recommends wire brushing 6 to 8 inches of the conductor where the connection is to be applied. If applicable, strip insulation so there is enough bare conductor to work with easily. Using a piggyback clamp, tighten the bottom section around the tap wire, leaving approximately 18 inches of conductor exposed on one side. With your hot stick, Attach the top portion of the temporary clamp to the main conductor and tighten in place. This will allow the conductors to be in control during installation. Unscrew the bolt by hand on the CPI connector to open the body up, giving more space within the connector to work with. Hold or hook the C-body with the shotgun stick with the provided shotgun eye. Using the hot stick, capture the tap conductor and push towards the main conductor until you are able to capture it with the connection. Have a partner hold or leave the shotgun stick hanging on the C-body for added stability. With a second shotgun stick, load the interface. It may be easier to orient the interface tab on the short finger of the shotgun stick clamp. This will aid in removal of the stick later. Slide the interface in between the run and tap conductors. Make certain it is inserted fully into the body of the connection. There is a stop on the body that will prevent the interface from freely sliding through. Using a universal stick with spring-loaded socket attachment, tighten the bolt until the shear head shears off. Be certain to insert the socket fully covering the bolt head. Make sure socket is perpendicular to wedge face. Do not apply lateral force on the bolt head. The top head of the bolt will shear off at approximately 150 inch pounds or 12 foot pounds of torque, which results in 3,000 pounds of force in the connection. There is no need to tighten the secondary bolt head any further. Remove the temporary piggyback clamp from the run and tap conductors. Installation is now complete. Remove all coverings from the work area.